Welcome to this episode of CCNN. I'm Ryan Tack, as along with Crystal Commerce. Today's topic is how to engage your local customers with your website. Really important stuff because we'll make sure you get those sales. It's one of my favorite topics though because building your brand locally is extremely important to your business and its longevity. So talking about a handful of tactics that you should start implementing today to increase your direct website sales uh, using your uh, local demographic as a target market. So the objective of these strategies are to get your local customers to form long-term habits of going to your website first for, to find products, buy less trade-ins, and of course consume content. Get your pad and paper ready and I'll begin. One of the best features that your website has is the automated buy list. This feature can be used to your advantage with local customers and it will help you streamline your business in a couple of ways too. The first is increasing the awareness of your site by creating a culture in the store by promoting the automated buy list itself. Doing this does a handful of small things. Uh, first, it informs the customers that the buy list is always available online and they can uh, use any device um, to submit their buy list order. Second, your customers can comfortably submit a buy list order from the comforts of their couches, pretty neat idea, where their products are really close to them and readily available for them to thumb through. By the customer using the site to submit the buy list order, you benefit and it helps processes inside your own store. By them submitting that order from home, you see the BIOS order and you have the opportunity to approve it or edit the order before they bring the products into the store. This saves you time consuming efforts and overhead because you know what's coming ahead of time. All you have to do is the grading, that's the easiest part. The final benefit of the customer using the buy list online is once they're on the buy list, they see the site first, the homepage, where you should be promoting your business's value propositions and promotions along with featured products and whatever, whatever else you have going on. If you didn't see my segment on value propositions and promotions, you can refer to episode 24 that we uh, produced on June 17th. Another great way of getting your locals used to using your site is by promoting your events and giving them a way to see your events and pre-register for them online. Many of you have Google calendars on the site and that's great, continue to do that. However, you can increase engagement with the site by simply linking your event pre-registration products in the event itself on the Google calendar end. By doing this, your locals can buy the event seat swiftly, pretty nice. Crystal Commerce also has a calendar event feeds that can be coded into the sidebar or the main body of your homepage too, which will make your calendar visible without the clicks. Moving into social media, huge stuff. I know that many of you are using Twitter and Facebook among the social media mediums. There's so much you could be doing to promote your website to your local fan base on social media. Example, whenever you have a pre-release or products to sell or uh, new other things, I would strongly suggest you take the URL from a single product page or a custom product landing page, and copy and paste that page onto your social media medium, like uh, Facebook. What will happen is the page URL and the image will show up on your wall or tweet quite nicely. This goes for event pre-registration products and buy products too. All you have to do is copy and paste that URL, and it's that easy. I understand that sending a message on every channel can be a pain. Good news is there's third party services out there that can help you send one message to all your social media mediums with a push of one button. I would suggest taking a look at maybe like a hootsuite.com or something like that. They got some services to offer you. There's other services too. I saved the best for last though. There's nothing better than having a blog married up with your e-commerce site. If you have articles or video talking about the games, news, updates, contests in the store, you're surely going to build a community with those locals. By having a blog, you're giving your customers a lot more than just an online store, um, which everyone has. Your blog will give your locals a destination to hang out in where they can do their browsing as well as digesting of content too. In addition to the content, you will be able to create store communities inside of your blog where people can engage with you or your writers. Pretty nice. This gives your customers more reasons to visit your website other than buying or selling products. Really do appreciate your time today. I hope you take these things seriously and put them into action now. And thank you for tuning in to this week's episode of CCNN.